So we'll try to um, make a visualization of what a um, avalanche is basically or what makes an avalanche. So we'll imagine that the, uh, I'm in my kitchen and uh, just imagine that my counter, counter is basically the ground and that uh, uh, all summer basically the sun warmed this up and there's clouds sometime and then it warms it up again and uh, but most of the day most of the summer this gets warmed up and part of a, of a fall as well it gets warmed up so it keeps a lot of heat especially if like there's rocks and everything it gets radiated and it keeps like a certain kind of heat uh, mostly here in the Rockies the kind of stuff we have is that we get like this little snowfall that kind of cover and then it gets frozen. And what does that do is that the snow changes different layers and it rounds out, makes this layer of snow that looks like a little bit like if you would look so. This is what the different crystal looks like on the card. When they assess them, um, they look like little roundy uh, pillows. And basically, they create this layer. I'll take a little bit more. Take this layer of, uh, of snow and create this. And pretty much, that's almost like the typical snowpack that we get. And then, you know, because it's fall, it's not a big snowfall. And so. My little uh, Wilderness Medical Society practice guideline uh, will become a, uh, a snow layer. So basically you have a little bit of snow that just fell down. And this layer basically now is all consolidated because it's from the same snowstorm or anything. Uh, again, sun comes out or it gets colder. Uh, this the weather changed that layer and everything. But as you can see, even if it moves, not obviously it's a representation. But this layer is pretty unstable. And then let's say we're pretty lucky, and there's a uh, my plant of Canada. Uh, becomes another layers, and now there's a little bit a bigger snow layers, but still a pretty not a big variant in the weather, which is pretty rare because usually there's another layer that kind of forms into it. Uh, so now I have like all this form, but as you can see, it's different layers because that that uh, snow fell down a certain temperature. This snow fell down a different temperature, and this one was. Uh, with the, the sun and everything that kind of change. And then another layer falls, but this time it gets either very cold or it rain and form again those this little layers on the top of the other snow. Um, and either like it can just even that layer this part the top of the layer because the change of what temperature can form another weak layer like it was so as you're starting to see it's kind of different layers formings based on uh, what kind of snow falls down the temperatures uh, the, the weather conditions and everything and then dream of a ski year and um, big snowfall, a good 30 centimeters um, falls down and falls right on that layer. And so that's why they say, for example, in avalanche, right after a big snowstorm or when the weather has changed a lot in um, here in, the, uh, in this part of Alberta, uh, we have what we call Chinooks, where basically the, the weather can be, actually today it's one of them, um, two or three days ago it was about minus 30. 
and now I think it's about 5 degree or 10 degrees so there's a big variant in the weather and what happened is that as this the sun kind of uh, shined and changed this layer then it gets cold and then the sun and then colds it weakened the layers and so now what happened is that so now we're like on the flat terrain so there's not much danger happening right here but for example, if a skier comes over here and this layer becomes very weak and because of the different gradient of temperature, if suddenly I go on this, this layer will get up. And this is what the avalanche comes. This layer will stay, but this layer will fall because now in this, the snow that comes down. Um, that's why the degree of, of angle as well is important because if the angle is very high that snow will have mechanical reason to fall down so any uh, in the 60 degree range um, angle so if my uh, if for example if I'm 60 degrees and over this those pins don't stay so any snow that accumulates will kind of drop down and will create almost like a safeguard for protecting from avalanche because the, the degree of the angle is so high that basically avalanche, the, the package doesn't have time. But if I bring it down to about 45 um, and so basically the danger is between 25 and 35, uh, and 45 sorry, it's basically now the danger of all this is that the snow can accumulate and stays there and there's not enough mechanical friction for that snow to fall down. And so what happens now is that those layer accumulates and it's just waiting for that skier or snowball deer or, um, or even just another snow to fall on there and now make it too unstable and then it cannot hold down. And then you're going to have that shear down, it's going to break down and then roll down now you have all that snow so for example now I have this layer gone so now we're good for for uh, for avalanche you would say right well not totally because this layer didn't give up but if there's different conditions this layer now can give up as well and so that's why too sometime if you have one avalanche, a lot of people, when they go straight and rescue other people, what they forget is that there's a, there can be another avalanche that can be triggered. Not so much from the zone that you fell down, not because of that first layer that fell down, but now you can have that second zone that's been weakened because now this, when it fell down, and kind of gave a little bit of trauma to that zone. And now this zone as well can give up. And so sometimes people, rescuers, go to rescue people for avalanche. And now they can be taken uh, out by a second avalanche. So be aware when you have, if you go and help people for avalanche, to always have a spotter to uh, tell you um, to look at uh, risk of other avalanche. Um, especially that your device then will be on receiving mode not on sending so if you're caught by avalanche you have to turn that to sending mode or else you cannot be found uh, there's new device now that there's like a almost like an emergency button and if you hear an avalanche you just uh, press uh, that button and basically your, your system becomes a sending device again so this basically is the concept of avalanche uh, the good news is that if the weather is correct and there's different gradient of, uh, of weather is that now this can consolidate all together by becoming one if the weather is correct and now suddenly this can become like one good layer basically and it can solidify because the heat from the, t from the bottom from all like the summer that was going it's now going radiating from the top and can kind of melt, uh, almost like weld those layers all together. So it depends also of the, the heat that comes in the, the temperature from the outside, but also from the, the temperature that comes from the bottom. Um, yeah, so basically this is the basic of a avalanche.